Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Liberals say they have no plans to impose a new tax on Canadians when we sell our homes. Can we believe them? In my view, we can trust them for now, but it's naive to think that they have never thought of this idea or that they might not do it in the future. What's the reason? The reason is that the Trudeau Liberals are going to need billions and billions of new tax dollars from us to finance all the government programs that they've been announcing for the past four months because of the COVID-19 recession. How would a new tax on homeowners fit the bill? Well, for the first time we would have to pay on the different value of our home from the time we bought it to the time that we sell it. And that would create billions of new dollars for the federal government and of course billions of dollars less for people selling their homes. In last year's federal election, Justin Trudeau had to deny that the government was considering such a new tax after a position paper came out from the Ontario Liberal Caucus, which basically talked about it as one possibility along with another to discourage speculation. And then last week, they had to deny it again when it became uh, known that the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, which is a federal crown agency, was given, uh, has given $250,000 to a university think tank for a study, and the think tank in the past has been critical of the fact that Canadians don't pay a tax when they sell their homes. So, for now, the government's denying it's going to happen. Uh, there's no indication that it's imminent, but as we all know, government plans and policies can change. And that's why it's important in the next federal election, I believe, that Justin Trudeau must be closely questioned on whether his government, if it wins re-election, is planning a new tax when people sell their homes. I'm Laurie Goldstein of the Toronto Sun. Uh, we're always interested in your views, and please follow us on Facebook and our YouTube channel.